Hello, it's Brian again for the part 3 of the preventive maintenance plan of the Swiss Nano 4. As usual, I invite you to go watch the previous part before watching this one if you haven't already. Use the strap wrench to loosen the hold of your filter that we are going to replace. When it is untied, you can finish to loosen the filter by hand. Just be careful at the end, don't remove it too fast, some oil can drop from the filter, so prepare for it. Before you reinstall this filter in the machine, make sure this o-ring is not anymore seat on the support of the filter. Use cutting oil or grease to lubricate the o-ring before you installing this one under your filter. This will provide you an optimum sealing when you will install the oil filter inside the machine. Then you need to clean the oil filter support inside the machine. Use a wire to do that. And you can now install the new oil filter. Just tighten it by hand. You don't need to use the strap wrench anymore. Tightening too strong will just make your life harder for the next maintenance. We need to control the belt tension of the S11 motor. To access it, you need to remove the S11 cover first. To do so, you loosen the two screws on the top of this one. Then you slide and remove the cover. You don't need to remove the two screws. Inspect the belt to detect any cracks or damage. And then if it's clean, you can just turn the belt at 45 degrees if you can manage to turn it more than 45, you will need to readjust the tension. The motor support can rotate on its pivot point. This allows you to adjust the tension. You need to loosen the two screws that lock the motor support on position. Then you will be able to rotate this one. Yeah, it is rotating, but there is still some resistance on it. So it's not a problem, you just loosen the screw a bit more. And now it's rotating freely. Slide the screwdriver behind the motor and use it as a lever to apply tension on the belt. The more you pull, the more tension you're gonna put on the belt. Then you rotate 45 degrees. And when you have difficulty to reach the 45 degrees, when you really need to force, then you lock the two locking screws. We install the S11 cover and slide it back in the position you were originally. Then you can tighten the two screws. Another belt to check is the one for the option S41. If you have this option on your machine, you can check the tension of the belt and the way is to remove this cover on this side. Warning, you have to remove the screw on the top and then go with your hand on the back side of this area and push this plate by hand to the back side and warning because also the plate can fall down on this side. Now from here, try to find the cover on the back side. Move it slowly by hand and try to bring back on the back side. It's not easy, but it's possible. And now you remove the cover with your left hand and you have bring out this cover. And from the front side, you will see 
the belt and you have a full access to control the tension of the belt by hand. Otherwise, there is a tensioner over there that you can adjust the tension. Let's now put back the cover inside the machine. I recommend to use again the screwdriver to hold the plate from the backside. Now that the plate is held in position, move it slightly to align the screw holes and insert the screw and tie them. Another step of the maintenance on the Swiss Nano 4 is to check the Z4 belt tension. For that, you have to remove both covers. Insert your finger in the hole located on the top of the forecasting. You should feel the Z4 belt under it. Check the tension, 45 degrees maximum. If the belt is damaged or the tension is not enough, you will need to call your tonus representative and ask support. Otherwise, you can reinstall the metal sheet in the backward order. We will stop here for now and I will see you in the next video for the part 4.